Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is an update on the pairings that we did last week. Just want to go over what we did and if we were successful or not. Last week we paired this female pastel clown to This male pastel leopard cypress pet clown. Um, hoping for some visual cypress clowns out of this. Um, we uh, we checked it two days after we put them together. We had uh, confirmed visual lock. I took a photo of it that I'll update. Um, I'll upload into the video. So that was one of that was our first pairing from last week. Get these two back in their tubs. And that cypress, that pastel cypress uh, head clown male is actually is a uh, first time breeder for us. Then we bred the lesser spot nose head clown female. that lesser spot nose clown female to a pastel entry blade leopard clown. This, uh, this male is the male that we got from Baker over at Blue Line Morse. Um, this wasn't really a question on if he locks, he locks with basically anything. Uh, we're shooting for some Batmans with this pairing. Um, also have a photo of that one. These two back, and then we'll go with our last pairing. And our last pairing last week was this proven breeder, Blade Clown female. She dropped five eggs last year. To our pastel and she desert ghost het clown male um, which also is another first time breeder uh, we got a visual lock out of him which is huge basic you know honestly game changing for our season this is going to be one of the males that uh, that I'll be using a lot this year um, you know we have you know a decent amount of females with decent codons that we're going to try to get a bunch of clowns that are het DG to uh, advance our DG clown project. Get him away. So we had three pairings, three visual locks out of all three of those males, um, which is awesome. Right when we paired, we ended up getting a huge storm out here. So, which was good. Um, and then the other thing we did last week, or actually earlier this week, we, uh, we finished building and getting our grow rack set up. So we ended up uh, having to put a couple blocks on the sides so that way we could attach uh, the wire mesh so that way they can't get out. Um, you know, we, right now we have uh, 13 grow up females in here that um, that are going to kind of fill up our third rack. And you know, we have a bunch of you know grow ups that should be ready to start moving in the next couple weeks in this tub, you know, and in I think in this tub also. So, but um, once again, thanks for uh, watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next week.